Okay, so I was just down here. I was checking my uh, property out because uh, we got deer hunters coming in here in the next couple of days, and I was checking on my cattle as well. And um, I uh, was down here checking, and I saw right here where our water gate is. Ow! Freaking briars. Where our water gate is right here. And there was a calf on the other side. And I was looking uh, to go and fix the fence right here. And, of course, she come right up underneath where this wire comes up underneath where the post is, where that low spot is, before I could do anything. And so, as I'm getting ready to go and look at the fence, I look to my right, and I see this big old tree laid out across the fence line. Now, this here is five-strand barbed wire, four, no, four-strand, my, my mistake. Um, and I was looking at the, how big the tree is. Because at first I was looking up to see if it come out of the top of any of these trees. Because I know some of these trees are well into 100 years old. I was looking up here to see if it was a tree that had come down. And then I look down here. Whenever I'm looking around, I trip on the stump. The stump here is solid in the ground. And if you can see right here, it's uh, broke off right here at the ground level. And I was looking to see, you know, if any kind of limb or anything could have fell on it. None of the limbs are broke out of the top of these trees at all, as you can see. Within 20 foot radius, no limbs were broke out of any trees. There is a lot of uh, uh, traffic through here, of course. I can't rule if it was a Sasquatch or a cow, but I can rule out if there was any kind of sign of sasquatch in the area like footprints there's too much traffic in here to find any kind of prints but this ain't wasn't done by a cow in my opinion because you can see how this bark is the bark real stiff and everything and some of it's rubbed off now that would have been from about like maybe a cat a coyote but there's no extreme rubbing on these trees of course because i know how my cattle is they'll go and rub on one of these big old uh hickory trees and these big old oak trees where it's got the rougher bark like this one right here this one's got too smooth the bark to knock the fleas and the flies off there's no rub marks and it's just if we took an, this tree is sturdy enough i've got a hundred i got a 1500 pound breeder steer uh breeder bull right up here in this herd and he's not even that strong to go and do anything besides that he's not even that aggressive i'd go and i'd think he's the most docile bull i've ever had it's just mind-boggling there's no type of rot no termite damage in this tree trunk a little bit of a rot in the hole in the center about the size of a silver dollar that's only in the center it doesn't go all the way up the tree something with big upper body strength had to have gone and broke this off because if you look there's a traffic area that runs right up along this water gate and it goes over the barbed wire and it weaves its way back through there into where that cornfield is which brings in back into the theory that sasquatch use cornfields as uh, travel corridors during the day and at night because you go and you don't have to worry about uh, being seen by humans and this corn here was just harvested all of it was just harvested yesterday let's see i think today's the fifth or the sixth of october and it was just uh harvested the day of uh the yesterday but it's very interesting to me of course i was hearing all kinds of hollers last night and we we had a party at the neighbors last night and I had a feeling that it was going to attract something or something was going to happen but it was just real mind-boggling but go ahead and uh, leave your opinions whether you agree with me or disagree with me it's fine I don't care I uh, just I believe it was a Sasquatch because there's no humans back in here 
hunting this property. I've got this property leased. Um, we haven't had no kind of real heavy wind, uh, just light breezes here for the better part of a month and a half now. I haven't had no big storms. None of the tops of the trees are out. Uh, there, I, rule, I can rule out that it was um, cattle rubbing up against the tree that would have knocked it down because the tree is so solid. Um, because a lot of my cattle are still putting on the weight for the winter time, so they're pretty gaunt. So I don't know. What do you think? Go ahead and leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and share it around with your friends, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.